Let's face it, folks, talking about money can be as fun as watching paint dry. But here's the deal. Taking control of your finances is absolutely crucial for a brighter future. And that's where budgeting comes in. A budget isn't about restriction. It's about freedom. It's a roadmap to your financial goals, whether it's buying a dream home, retiring early, or simply sleeping soundly knowing you're in control. Think of it this way. Budgeting is like building a house. You wouldn't start building without a plan, right? So let's dive into the world of budgeting and discover the method that could change your financial life. Now, let's talk about the pay yourself first method. This isn't just a budgeting technique, it's a complete mindset shift. With this method, you prioritize saving and investing before anything else. As soon as you get paid, a predetermined amount goes directly into your savings or investment accounts. This could be 10%, 20%, or whatever you can comfortably manage. Why is this so powerful? Because it makes saving a habit. You're essentially telling your money where to go instead of wondering where it went. Let me tell you about Sarah, a single mom who was facing the daily grind of balancing work, parenting, and finances. Sarah was struggling to make ends meet, constantly worried about how she would cover her bills and provide for her child. She was tired of living paycheck to paycheck, feeling like she was always one step behind. One day, she decided to try something different, the pay-yourself first method. Sarah committed to saving $100 from each paycheck no matter what. She made this her top priority. It wasn't easy at first. She had to make some tough choices, cutting back on unnecessary expenses and finding creative ways to save. She started cooking more at home, using coupons and shopping wisely. Fast forward a year and Sarah had saved over $2,000. This was a huge milestone for her, a testament to her discipline and commitment. Then, one day, her car broke down. In the past, this would have been a financial disaster, causing immense stress and panic. But this time, Sarah had the peace of mind knowing she had a financial cushion. She was able to pay for the car repairs without any worry, thanks to her savings. This experience was a turning point for Sarah. She realized the true power of the pay-yourself-first method. It wasn't just about saving money, it was about gaining control over her financial future. By prioritizing her savings, Sarah empowered herself to handle life's unexpected curveballs with confidence and ease. She no longer felt like a victim of her circumstances but rather the master of her financial destiny. Sarah even started teaching her child about the importance of saving, instilling these valuable lessons early on. Together, they would put money into a piggy bank, celebrating each small victory. With her newfound financial stability, Sarah began to dream bigger. She set new financial goals like saving for a family vacation and building an emergency fund. The pay-yourself-first method had transformed her life, giving her the freedom to enjoy the present while planning for a secure future. Sarah's story is a powerful reminder that with determination and the right strategy, anyone can take control of their finances. She now shares her journey with others, inspiring them to take the first step towards financial independence. This is the power of pay-yourself-first. It empowers you to take control of your finances, be prepared for life's unexpected challenges, and build a brighter, more secure future. Another popular budgeting method is the Six Jars method. This method is designed to help you manage your finances by dividing your income into six distinct categories, each represented by a jar. By doing so, you can ensure that every aspect of your financial life is covered, from daily necessities to long-term goals and even leisure activities. Imagine having six jars, each representing a different spending category. These categories are designed to cover all aspects of your financial needs and wants, ensuring a balanced and comprehensive approach to managing your money. Necessity needs, 55%. This jar covers essential expenses like rent or mortgage, utilities, and groceries. These are the non-negotiable costs that you need to pay to maintain your basic standard of living. By allocating 55% of your income to this jar, you ensure that your fundamental needs are always met, providing a stable foundation for your financial health, financial freedom, 10%. This jar is dedicated to building your investment portfolio and growing your wealth. Investing in stocks, bonds, or other financial instruments can help you achieve financial independence over time. By consistently contributing 10% of your income to this jar, you can create a robust financial future and potentially enjoy the benefits of compound interest. Long-term savings, 10%. Money in this jar is for significant future expenses like a down payment on a house or your child's education. These are the big-ticket items that require careful planning and saving over an extended period. 
By setting aside 10% of your income for long-term savings, you can work towards achieving these major financial milestones without feeling overwhelmed. Education and personal growth, 10%. This jar fuels your self-improvement journey, including books, courses, and workshops. Investing in your education and personal development can lead to better career opportunities and personal fulfillment. By dedicating 10% of your income to this jar, you can continuously enhance your skills and knowledge, paving the way for a brighter future. Play, 10%. Life's not all about work and no play. This jar is for guilt-free spending on entertainment, hobbies, and vacations. It's essential to enjoy the fruits of your labor and take time to relax and have fun. By allocating 10% of your income to this jar, you can indulge in your favorite activities without feeling guilty or compromising your financial stability. Gifts and giving, 5%. This jar is for spreading kindness through gifts for loved ones or donations to charities. Giving back to your community and showing appreciation to those around you can bring immense joy and satisfaction. By setting aside 5% of your income for this purpose, you can make a positive impact on the lives of others while also experiencing the joy of giving. With the six jars method, you allocate a specific percentage of your income to each jar, ensuring a balanced approach to your finances. This method not only helps you manage your money more effectively, but also encourages you to think about your financial priorities and goals. By consistently following this approach, you can achieve financial stability, grow your wealth, and enjoy a fulfilling and well-rounded life. Comparing budgeting methods, finding the right fit for you. Now, let's compare pay yourself first with other popular methods like the cash envelope method and the 50-30-20 rule. The cash envelope method involves dividing your cash into envelopes labeled with different spending categories. This hands-on approach helps you track spending and avoid overspending in specific areas. The 50-30-20 rule allocates 50% of your income to needs, 30% to wants, and 20% to savings and debt repayment. It's a simple framework that encourages a balanced approach to spending. While these methods have their merits, pay yourself first stands out because it prioritizes your financial future. It instills a saving mindset and helps you build a solid financial foundation. Budgeting blunders, avoiding common pitfalls. Budgeting is a crucial aspect of financial health, but it's easy to make mistakes along the way. Let's dive into some common pitfalls and how to steer clear of them. Even with the best intentions, budgeting mistakes can happen. These errors can derail your financial plans and cause unnecessary stress. But don't worry, with a little awareness and effort you can avoid these common traps. Let's look at some common pitfalls and how to avoid them. Starting with the most fundamental mistake. Number 1. Not tracking your spending. This is a critical error that many people make. Without tracking, you have no idea where your money is going. It's like driving with your eyes closed. You wouldn't drive a car without knowing where you're headed, so why manage your finances that way? Use budgeting apps, spreadsheets, or even a good old-fashioned notebook to track your income and expenses. These tools can provide a clear picture of your financial situation and help you make informed decisions. Number 2. Setting unrealistic goals. It's easy to get carried away with ambitious plans, but setting goals that are too high can lead to disappointment and frustration. Rome wasn't built in a day. Financial success takes time and patience. Start with small, achievable goals and gradually increase them as you make progress. Celebrate your small victories along the way. Each step forward is progress and recognizing these achievements can keep you motivated. Number 3. Ignoring small expenses. It's easy to overlook the little things but they can add up quickly. Those daily coffees and impulse purchases can add up. Over time these small expenses can significantly impact your budget. Be mindful of your spending habits and find areas to cut back. Small changes can make a big difference in the long run. Number 4. Giving up too soon. Budgeting is not a one-time task. It's an ongoing process that requires persistence and dedication. Budgeting is a journey, not a destination. There will be bumps along the way, but it's important to stay the course. Don't get discouraged if you slip up. Everyone makes mistakes, and it's all part of the learning process. Learn from your mistakes and keep moving forward. Adjust your plan as needed and stay committed to your financial goals. With perseverance and the right strategies, you can achieve financial stability and success. Your turn to prosper. Embrace Pay Yourself First, ready to take control of your finances. The Pay Yourself First method is your secret weapon to financial freedom. Start by setting a realistic savings goal. 
Determine how much you can comfortably set aside from each paycheck. Remember Sarah, if she can do it, so can you. Make pay yourself first your financial mantra and watch your savings grow. Join the journey to financial wellness. Congratulations on taking this step towards financial empowerment. Remember, you're not alone on this journey. For more resources, tips, and support, check out our website and join our vibrant community of like-minded individuals on a mission to achieve financial wellness. Together, let's make financial freedom a reality.